Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to write and illustrate about llamas. So I hope that you have checked out all of those fun science articles and links about llamas so that you have some great information for your writing. I also love that in the art section there's a how-to video to illustrate your very own llamas that you can use after we are done done with the writing, okay? So let me get this a little bit closer so that you can see. And again, if you don't have this paper, that's okay. I did add the link to get your very own copy and print these off, but you are more than welcome to use any kind of paper you want. You can even use the paper from the independent learning packets and use it our way. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to start with our topic right at the top. So what are we going to write about today? Llamas. So, la us llamas. I think it's so neat that llamas begins with two L's. Mine has a capital L and then the lowercase L. I love that. And there are also two A's. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw our line right across our and under our topic. And we are going to be writing two sentences today because we're almost first graders. So we are going to draw a little line here and another one here. And the first one, we are going to write the word R. R, one of our sight words. R. Llamas are. And there are so many things we can write under here. Llamas are tall. Llamas are cute. Llamas are fuzzy. So many things. But I know that a lot of you are thinking like me. And llamas are cute. You could even write animals. Llamas are animals. Llamas are mammals. Lots and lots of things. So you don't have to do mine, but I'm going to do cute because I just think they are so cute. Even adorable would be a good word, but I'm going to write cute. C -u -t. Cute. And again, if you don't want to use my word, that's fine. Go ahead and use your word. Llamas are cute. The next one that we're going to do on the other side is llamas can. K -a -n can. Oops, I'm going to clip this thing. Sorry, guys. There you go. So think about things that llamas can do. So they can walk, they can spit, which I think is really interesting. They can have babies. They can climb like on hills. So I think I am going to write Llamas can spit. S -p -i -t. They can spit. They like to chew. I also like to to see them chew um, food because their mouths look so funny. So this is the part where you take a crayon. And we are going to start by circling our first sentence. Okay, llamas are cute. And we are going to circle the whole thing because it is a complete sentence. 
It is a complete idea. Okay, next year in first grade, you're going to talk about the naming part and the action part. Naming, we are talking about llamas. Action, what are they doing? They are cute. And then we're going to take all of our information and write it on this line in the same order. So I talk about a slide. You start at the top of the slide, you go to the middle of the slide, the bottom of the slide, and then you get off and get back on, okay? So let's start with llamas. Llamas, don't cross the middle of the road. And don't write too small either, okay? Llamas, and remember, I'm just copying it from what we circled. Llamas, llamas. What's next? What's the next word? R, good job. Finger space, R. So we have llamas, R. And then what's our next word? At the very bottom of the slide. Cute, good job, ooh, perfect, perfect amount. Don't forget to finger space right here. Don't start right, right after the E or it won't make sense. It'll look like a giant word. Cute. And then what goes at the very end of our sentence that tells the reader to stop because our sentence is done. That's right, a period. And after I write my period, I like to take my red crayon and I like to circle it. Red means stop, like stop signs, stop lights. And what means go? What's the opposite of stop? Go, and what color? green. So you're going to take your green crayon and underline it. And then this is also a reminder that your sentence always, always, always begins with a capital letter. Now, boys and girls, did I start mine with a capital letter? I sure did. But if you didn't, that's okay. You can go ahead and fix it. One more thing before I go on to my next sentence, I want to make sure that I wrote it correctly. So up here we have three words. Llamas are cute. Three words. Now let me look at my writing. Llamas are cute. Yep, I have all three. I'm good to go on. So now I think I'm gonna take this blue-green crayon, and I am going to circle my other sentence. And remember, you have to, have to, have to circle llamas. Don't circle can spit and then llamas because they're not connected. Then when you go to write it, your brain won't remember that they are connected and you'll only write the one part. So we are going to circle the whole thing in one big chunk, not two. Sometimes some of you do that and then your brain gets really confused. Okay, so what is your second sentence now? Llamas can spit. So it's a slide, the top of the slide, the middle, and the bottom. And we do exactly the same thing we did over here. We are just going to go to the next line and we are going to copy it down. So, llamas. Don't cross the road. Llamas. Put this down a little bit for you. Finger space, what's our next word? Can. Llamas can. 
What's that last one? Spit. Now they don't all the time, but I just think it's cute that they do that. Yep, I do. I do think that the spitting is cute. I don't think people spitting is cute. I think it's gross. But when cute little llamas spit, I think it's cute. I like it. Put a period at the end. And what crayon are you going to grab now? Your red. And you're going to circle it because this tells the reader to stop. It is the end of your sentence. And we're going to go backwards. I don't know why I always go backwards. But I just do. And you're going to do your green. Did I start with a capital L? Yep, I sure did. Green means go. Red means stop. Okay, so let's double check to make sure that we wrote all of our words. Llamas can spit. Three words. Let's look up here. Llamas can spit. Three words. We did it correctly, boys and girls. Now, if you are a superstar and you wanted to do a third sentence, you could add a third one right down here in the middle, okay? So you could do llamas are, llamas can, and you could do another llamas are. Maybe you don't want to skew, maybe you want to write llamas are fuzzy, Okay, maybe you want to write have, llamas have babies, or have fur, or have a long neck. I mean, you could really add anything you want. So, uh, just for fun, you don't have to, I'm going to write have right here, just for fun, have just to show you what it would look like if you did three. And you still have room to illustrate it, okay? And let's say you wanted to put llamas have fur. You could add fur, fur. And you would do the same exact thing we've been doing. Here, here, and now we could circle the middle. And this is what it would look like. This is for superstars in purple. Okay. See that in purple? And guess what? I have that extra space down here. I would do the same exact thing. This slide goes straight down. Top, middle, bottom. And I would write it exactly the same. Llamas have fur. Now you don't have to do this, but if you want to, you totally can. Llamas. Can you see that? Maybe that's better. Have, leave that finger space. Llamas have fur. Okay, you got it. He also needs a period because it is a complete sentence, a complete idea. We circle it with red. We go all the way to the beginning and underline it in green. And there you have it, three amazing sentences. Now remember when you go to first grade next year, around October, you will be required to write about three, four sentences. So this is really good practice. And if you just did two today, you're amazing. You are totally amazing. In kindergarten, you're only required to do one sentence. So you're already a superstar if you wrote two. And you're a double superstar if you did three. Now, today in our writing, we did not do opinion. We did not say llamas are my favorite in the whole world. We gave people information. 
Although I guess you could say that one's a little bit of an opinion. But we gave people information. So we are going to write our standard. Our standard means this is the learning we did today. So we did a W for writing. So we didn't do math. We didn't do science or PE. This is writing. And then K because you are in kindergarten. And then this is information. So it is number two. Now, I'm not going to do the illustration part because there is an amazing video under art on how to illustrate your very own llama. And you could illustrate like a whole llama family, some baby llamas, so fun. So thank you so much for joining me today and writing all about llamas and going that extra step to add an extra sentence at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I hope you enjoy all of the great links to llamas in the science section as much as the art section as well. Have a great day.